everyone, welcome back to Adamas Tutorials. I was planning to do a different video for today, so this was a short video that I could do in between as the other one didn't work out for me. Um, so I'm going to show you a corset that I recently bought. Now I said in my previous video about corsets about a couple, three, four weeks ago, that I would never ever buy a off the rack corset again. <laughs> The reason I didn't stick to that is because I heard of a 50 euro corset that was supposed to be for a more curvy figure, figure. so I just, for 50 quid, I just had to try it. And I'm first going to show you how I put a corset on, because I know some people might find that interesting. Um, also uh, then I will give you a short review of this corset and um, tell you a little bit about it. So let's get going. This is what it looks like on. As you can see, it gives quite an impressive figure. I'll show you all sides. This is the white hip corset from the um, Restyle.pl, uh, a Polish website, and I ordered it in t size 26. Now I have been waiting to order this for quite some time. I think after Lucy from Lucy's Corset Tree did her review on it, it has been sold out. Um, you can however put uh, the courses in your favourites list of the website and then I'll send you an email when I have it in in your size. And that's what I did and they happened to have one in, in 26 inches. And as soon as I saw the email I, I clicked on it and bought it because I knew that I wanted it anyway. <laughs> so. So, <clears throat> I'm happy to finally have gotten one, so I can show it to you guys, and also, of course, to wear it, because for 50 euros, I'm actually pretty happy with this. As for my other corsets, it's steel boned, it is, um, well, like I said, 26 inches. Uh, that is the measurement around the waist when it's fully closed uh, on the inside. Now, if I measure over the top of this, while I have it on, you will see that it's a bit more because obviously the corset itself has bulk. I think 29 and a half over the top of the corset. And I did also do this with a measuring tape underneath it, like through the hole here. And I got a measurement of 27 and a half. So I think these fall a little bit large. Also because the first time I actually got this corset, I was immediately able to close the thing and um, that has never happened to me before with a 26 inch. So yeah, I, I think this one does fall a bit large, but it might also be due to the fact that I can actually have enough room in my chest area here and actually I have a little bit spare on my hips. Now this has never happened to me. Like I have a pretty big hip spring as it is and I've never had an off the rack corset where I actually had space left over in the hip area. So I thought that was really cool. As you can see, for the silhouette this gives you, it's quite an impressive um, silhouette for an off-the-rack corset. I have not yet seen anything <laughs> like it. It's very, um, what shall I say, definitely an hourglass uh, silhouette. There are a few, a few other things I wanted to mention about this corset. Now, I ordered it in the... Uh, the matte cotton and all layers are actually cotton. There's one other corset on the Restyle.pl website that has the same silhouette. It's called the Brocade Underboss. <laughs> I have it open there on my phone. Um, and uh, I have also been trying to get a hold of that, but it was also sold out. Uh, I'm actually looking into buying this same corset or the Brocade Underboss one size down, so size 24 inch. 
I'm very curious to see how that fits on me. Since I do still have a little bit of space in the hips, I it might go on me, or I may have to leave it open with a little bit of a gap. But since these fall a bit large, that may actually be my size for this um, for this particular corset. Now. I will also show you a, a close-up of this corset, so I'm going to take it off again and um, we'll have a run through it. This is what it looks like when you have it off. <laughs> um, as you can see, these hips are quite large. There's quite a bit of space in them. Um, the front is 12 inches long, but since the, that, that height is accounted for by this peak mainly that comes up between your breasts. It doesn't bother me so much even though I have quite a short torso. I can actually sit down in it because the um, uh, the princess seam from your uh, under your underneath your breast towards your uh, hip bone here is a bit quite a bit shorter and that is on the shorted point eight and a half inches for our centimeter people. That is 22 centimeters. So it is actually short where it needs to be short. It does not come quite up quite as far as my other um, custom made corset. Uh, I would have liked it to come up a little further. The fullness in the hips is actually uh, done mainly by these two panels here that are cut a lot wider at the bottom than at the top. It goes like that. Now I have noticed one issue with this corset so far, that is that my um, that the laces are already showing some wear. As you can see, it's all um, it's already starting to fray a little bit. I wonder if it's caused by the by the grommets maybe themselves. Maybe it's catching somewhere. I don't know. I don't particularly see any splits that it could be catching on, but maybe it's just wearing nonetheless. Uh, as you can see it does have a monesty panel. Uh, it is not stiffened so you will have to sort of shove it in between. Now since this corset is well fits exactly for me I can actually close it all the way. I don't really need it. Uh, also it I don't really have to make sure that I have to <laughs> straighten it and stuff but I think it would be a little bit problematic if I had to because it's really really floppy if you are wearing this not completely closed then that might be a slight issue um, it is 7 inches wide <clears throat> if anyone is interested it has 22 um, bones in there and they're definitely metal. <laughs> they are really heavy, uh, and they, as you can see, they're double boned. I actually quite like the the effect that this double boning gives you on the on the front of it. Also, even though it is just a matte cotton, also the cotton is slightly ru uh, roughened. So if you look at it from a distance, it almost looks like it's a black velvet. It has that depth to it, which is quite nice. It has one, two, three, four, five, six pins, and in they're all the same distance apart. And here is the label, and there is steel boned, 100% cotton, made in China on it. <laughs> oh, one more thing I wanted to mention as well, um, which Lucy mentions as well. It does not have a waist tape, so. It might be, might be inclined to stretch a little bit over time uh, if you were to wear this on a regular base. Now this is for me probably just going to be a corset that I wear occasionally for events or with an outfit or whatever. So it's not so much of a problem for me. It's not a waist training corset, but you can tight lace in it. So overall, I'm really happy with this 50 euro corset. I think it's amazing quality for the price <laughs> and especially the silhouette is quite impressive. Um, it's definitely a, a corset that I would recommend to anyone who has a fuller hip spring <laughs> and uh, is looking for an off-the-rack corset that doesn't break your bank. <laughs> so if you manage to get your hands on it, this is definitely a good one to try. Um, I have, in my googling round about this corset, 
actually come across a couple of pages with second-hand ones if you cannot get it off the uh, Restart.pl website. Maybe you can get one second-hand because this course is definitely not going to fit everyone. Um, <clears throat> I think if you are naturally quite slim, you will have way, 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 way too much space in the hips. So if you do have a larger hip spring, I would 100% recommend this, uh, this corset. I think it's actually quite pretty and I wish they would bring it out in more colors <laughs> and more uh, variations. And that is something I would like to say to Restyle.pl. Definitely bring this out with more choices because this is perfect for us girls that have a large hip spring and want an inexpensive corset. Uh, I would love to have this in a different color than black. <laughs> um, so that's about it about this corset. I really hope you enjoyed this review and uh, that anyone of you found this somewhat useful. <laughs> I don't know if any of my viewers is actually interested in corsetry but um, since my previous video got about 2000 views I take it there is a market for it so if I do get a new corset I will show it to you. Um, especially since I said that I wouldn't get any more of the rec corsets and this one is a rather inexpensive one I thought I'd share it with you guys. Like I said you will have to have a little bit of patience <laughs> if you want to order one because it was was sold out for a long time before I managed to get one. So if you did like this video please click the like button, button and uh, subscribe to my channel. Check out my Facebook pa page, my Pinterest page, my Instagram and I will hope to see you next week. Bye everyone!